Sumjia Tamji to the Tobja Lanami by Yontaba, Tobia Sandy, Umbarum Buja, Chinaja, Tobacha, Tichi to Tambichi, Samosin, and Bekulu, Kunji, Ribon and Lebat, said that this Semba shoes. Tag Council much of it, Tambichi, Dita, and Changju Lamuchimi. What a non intaten that the cousin shoes had you at in that day. Oh, such in Chingu, Nerva, Mus, Nerum, the cousin Mussinia. Tipong which in Nimbo Tapong, Mizumi, Nimbo Temba, say the subject Nishan, it was Semba Mursuma down, Chingu Gosu down, and each in good give you Mursuma, say subject Ninani, that she wanted to go back to you Mursuma Nala, or she wanted to be duty cousin Sawachi, that didn't you go back to duty Mursuma Dinima to some go to she is something. Now, please, while we're listening to the Dharma. To generate the motivation and the intention that you're listening in order to obtain <clears throat> the supreme and most precious state of complete awakening, complete Buddhahood, for the sake of all mother sentient beings who are limitless and vast as the skies. And where are we? Which, which is the Dharma that we're listening to today? This dharm, uh, this is the text of the Lamrim Chenmo, the the stages for the path to enlightenment. And where are we? Is in a section about uh, what to do when laxity and excitement are present, and um, the actual title of the section is the like the head the the higher heading going back up to it is several pages um, ahead of where we actually are, is here we are, uh, using the remedy for failing to try to eliminate them even when they are recognized. And then where we act, uh, you know, directly are, the, the direct heading above uh, where we have arrived is the underlying <coughs> cause of laxity and excitement. And that's page 66 in the English, and we already have gone through the underlying causes of lax uh, laxity. So now we will uh, continue with the underlying causes of excitement. Oh, <laughs> And she wanted to go back to the curriculum. She was standing at some dishes. She was ship some Javu Dua or the D Javu Zoom. That cousin did the shoe with some detailing on the Goba Gortium or Yanti Casanota. She wanted to go back to the Hamagona. That gum Jagu and a thing is in gum Jagu and a thing is in Gumba Nuba Tungoma. That Nuba Tubala Jaching in the Chingwar was Sim Sanam making it Chingwadan and the Sim Mikbala Manik in Guban seeing the Gitam needy mena. Gomgi Nuba Tued in Gomer, Induzan Da Gomgi Nuba Tumbala, and in Sim Mibajila Min Gomja in the Mibadilazni, Sebu Yashar Tuezidan, and in Sim the Mibadila Pane to be Niso Gurzan, Tati Sim Mibala Tene Nebala, Gaching in the La, Gubas, Sim Mibadne Majumi Dilab, Gubas in Darwa, Tas Sim Mibadi Neva Kanshilayan, Seva Minang de la Chiwas, Min Tawara Induzani. Ta sem mikba la tenis gom jawindu sem rang sem mikba chila mini gom jawindu mikba dila mane wa chigen jida ne na yo sebu me ba ni ta ti khandu sun yung wa res be sem mikba la mane wa di ju khari la den yung wa re sem mikba la ne na yo sebu me wa di khari ju yung wa re sudu ta ta ti ni gom ju ju jin da di ni ma pang ju ni shu ju ta la mi chimo na la ka sebu shu ju pe ge wu tu yung wa indu zane ta ti and it's shung la kujani tawar and jermis is to watch his own of a chamber. Ransom my but the shung chimula jag, pendu shung la jani. Anima dus in my dish it my turn do. Ta or dinition it out in the dish in my sweet tabo you want to dang around to go to Yapu, Jacoina. Anita gom jaila, that's also good dux in all touching what Java dilla, send me but never gauging the dirty to us, dilla zimba zemela chick some of the living room. Or similar Mikba and the Gomja and the Mikba, the same Sharma Tung, the two Dinaji Chedwas, the antique Latinia, Ranzumas and Kaye, Tapshi, Latini, or Jig Pendo in Muro, the teaching in that in the Chimada Gobadi, and it do the Betsuji, my Shunga Kunjani Rua, 
Chingwa So now this explanation of the causes for laxity and excitement, what's the point of it? So we, we should explain how we arrive at this section of the text and why it's presented. So we're here talking about the causes. So we have both laxity and excitement, and we're looking at their causes, the way that they're stopped or prevented, stopped and prevented as well as what are their faults? What's the problem with them? So we have to understand these three things in relation to both laxity and excitement, because if we don't understand these about laxity and excitement, then we're never going to be able to actualize the real power and potential of concentration itself, of samadhi or concentration. So in order to really utilize properly the potential of concentration, then we need to understand about laxity and excitement. So again, laxity and excitement, what are they? Laxity is something that makes the clarity of the meditation object, um, uh, it obstructs that clarity of the meditation object. It's what makes the meditation object unclear. And excitement is what is an obstacle what obstructs the mind from abiding on the meditation object. So the mind being point, uh, it's what makes the mind not abide on the meditation object. And so all of these, uh, this entire explanation of laxity and excitement uh, with its causes, how to prevent and stop them, as well as their faults are explained extremely clearly in this text by Lama Tsongkhapa, Benji Rinpoche. And he does it, he explains it uh, by combining his commentary and his explanation with source text from the great Panditas, the, the Nalanda masters of the Indian Panditas. And this is also, this is again very important for our meditation practice. So we know we're aware of what's going to come. We know, okay, this is the cause of laxity. This is the cause of excitement. And we can recognize if they're coming, if they're present, what to do about them. And we can be vigilant and aware when they're arising in our mind. So we have this introduction to the causes of laxity and the causes of excitement. And we completed that introduction to the causes of laxity last week. So now we're going to continue with the causes of excitement. Dejala Chuba dance, Neva Mashi with Suje dance, Sim Joa Mebadan, Tammy Sheba dance, Namashin to Hajam Rabdu Zimba the Demi, Dumbala Soba dance, Zimbala Macumba dance, Rabdu Zimbala, Chama Machibi, T. Choji Gumba dance, Nidula Tobas Guba dance, Timbi Chu Kayan Runga, Sim Namba Yanga, Woshi Sunday, Gubi Semani Gubi Gu, Hajam Rabdu Zimani. Kawi Yula Sim Sun Chapa de Tedan Dimbi Dumbas Ungar Sheba Shu, so that Dugin Ta Di Nandun did a Karsun to Sana, that Guba sing the Samakan Guba Tibi to the country, that the market is in the Tagun Chiwada Guba to move, and in do she, on Bugo Benakaji, on Bugo Madon Badam, and you can say it's a Marik Badam, Namgi Chadu, the Chamber of Minion, Binanjo, Mijun Badam. あの、シシのネバマインバオタティシディ、あの、ママシダンスンティエキチバチェロワチンチンワライン、チンワダゴバニガ、タキウィギュディトゥマティティシェ、ロワ。タン、あ、ゴバギタディトゥトゥマインバ
Tinjigi Ani Tsunjuche, Semba Che, Chubas, Nita, Shi Tunsua, Yagi, Leloda Dimbi Dumba, Leloda Dimbi Tsunju, Sin Lavrota, Digasu, Rabdu Zimba da Dimbi Dumbas, Rabdu Zimba da Dimbitini, Odin Tsunjuche, Rabdu Zimba da Dimbitini, Odin Tinika Semba, Ochuba Shi, what a tea, Tai Sim Animipala, Sun Tower, was Sim Mikbala, Sun Tower, Sun, the Sim Mikbala. Neither ne what it never did be shook chetana. Anni Gubiran Shinj that decay the Lego Rata, semi bala, anni nebati, Rwata, Sentinadina Sundoa, Nabodla, Gaula, sem sum tabas, that sem chill yuetilla, and it sem shook tabar, what that individua, Arabu Zimba, said it does sem mibala tamsin chetabi with any dumba. Dumba gugor did dumba did was mibala tamsin chetter with dumba. Tsunju Guru or the Tsunju Dia, Duma Mikbala Din, Tamsin Chetawa. Tanashin, one cousin of Chuba Guru or the Chuba Shunian, Tamsin Mikbala Tamsin Chetta with Chuba. Or the Seba Dia, Sim Mikbala Din, or the Tamsin Chetta with Sembas, or the Tunzo, Tanashin Nidula Topas, Tasusu Nim Pinjala, Sobal Tunzola, Chashi Hajan Chawaina, or the Gum Jayalarian. Gum Java Chigena to a Tuzamata Tuzuki, some town Tawana, gave it to Tadur Sutana, and you go back to my mind with Judy Tatso, and you Casna, same chill to you with any two, do shop, Niki Jesu Droegita, or Tinjigi Chikida. Well, Yan Chik Tugi Samarwata, Gum Maja Coni Tuzamla, and you Casna Chi, or Segi says Sadan to Tada Madeva, Nikudan to Tada Madeva. Or Dini, Ombun Tada, Go Madumba, or the Tindig in Twinsam Kikenda. Yan, the Gobadin, Bena Sim Mikbala, Jugi, Juila, Rongushi, and you come Jagi Jagilatinian, Sim Mikbala Pes, Shuk Chetawa, or Tindig Kingita, Gom Maji with Negamla, Keg Jujida, Gom Jashim with Negat, or the Tindig Junigat in that domna, and he come Gobase, the Kandiji, Slavian Duda, Chiri Yenwa de la Chiking Ju. What a Nazo part in Dilla in a keggy was a mebala money watching it. What indigent the gore is. Same number in Wahoos. What a digging shun do. What a two chain do. That dig up so an in Goba say it to the indigent soon shall ask what the. So we'll read here in the text. Here. Oh. And so this is now from the quote, the same text also states, what are the signs of excitement? The first four points listed above for the signs of laxity, not restraining the sensory faculties, etc., behaving with attachment, having a disquieted manner, lacking a sense of disenchantment, being unskillful, having a great sense of grasping in your aspiration, etc., failing to accustom yourself to joyous perseverance, meditating in an unbalanced way without refining your apprehension of the object of meditation and being distracted by any sort of exciting topic such as thoughts about relatives. So here we're talking about the causes for, uh, for excitement. And the first four of these are the causes which are mutually shared causes between both laxity and excitement. They're common causes to both of them. And so that was in the paragraph above, not restraining the sensory faculties, not eating in moderation, not making an effort to practice rather than sleeping during the early and later parts of the night. Um, on, I guess it keeps going, ongoing lack of vigilance, Diluted behavior, oversleeping. And so those were those those ones. And then it basically, though, the main cause for excitement is following after attachment. So following after attachment is where excitement uh, comes in. That's what gives rise to it. It's, as it says here, having a disquieted manner, behaving with attachment. So the mind being non-pacified or un unpacified or disquieted. 
then here we have lacking a sense of disenchantment. So not having a, a sense of disenchantment, being too easily excited, excitable, being too easily, um, you know, enjoying, enjoying sense pleasure and enjoying too much enjoyment, not having enough disenchantment. Tat Mishepa is here um, being unskillful as um, Geshe-la explained the Tibetan term, it's, it can also be just um, so the explanation he gave, we would maybe rather translate that as not knowing the method. And here it, he explained it to me, not knowing the method for counteracting excitement, not knowing how to stop and counteract excitement. <clears throat> so that's the unskillfulness there, um, not knowing something, uh, having a great sense of grasping. So these here also, uh, I know we discussed it a little last time about just the, so just the, again, the terms as sort of geshe -la explained it, it really is more just like the opposite side of the scale of the spectrum uh, as in the causes of laxity. So in cause of laxity, having laziness, being lazy in these four things, aspirations, joyous perseverance, intention and analysis, these four, these four things. So here uh, it's, uh, just sort of being too forceful is maybe a simpler way to say it. Uh, so that's again, during meditation itself. Now, the, the, when we're talking about these four, this is in meditation, sort of putting forth too, too strong or too great of forcefulness with your aspiration, your perseverance, your intention and your analysis. And so, so this again is just like putting your attention and uh, focus on, on the object of meditation and abiding with too strong of a focus. That's actually too strong of a focus. That's the fault being discussed there. Uh, it's like the apprehension we could say here. It uses this uh, word in the translation of grasping, but it could also just be the apprehension or the, the way of holding the object uh, is too strong. That's the idea here. So all four of these things, these things now referring to these aspiration, the joyous perseverance, the intention, the analysis, all four of these are necessary in your meditation practice. You have to have these present, but when you have the, when, when laxity, uh, when they, when, so it can become a cause of laxity if they're too you're too weak in them, too lazy in them, and it becomes a cause of excitement if you're too forceful in those four. Okay. So So the oh the next one was about being distracted by topics such as thoughts about relatives. So just having you know too much connection to your relatives and thinking about them too frequently is also another cause of excitement here. So it's, it's again things that follow along the thoughts of attachment, follow after attachment, and then if we divide up the two kinds of causes, we can also see that the first four, those common uh, causes there, are ones which are um, occurring before the meditation practice session itself they're in the break period or the the time um not meditating whereas these other ones are things that are um, causing excitement to arise actually in the meditation itself oh do she that the order the other number to some green yummy cups with them is on the good number so she needs to go in you go by the car chasing Shea, Chingu 
我们也不住的，呃，推什么个数？我打推什么个数？但我推什么个数？你的第一个是的，那个几乎中国个数了，但是推什么个数了？但是呢，呃，几乎是不算多啊。可是对我们来说，现在我打第一个数目的，我打第
those are all things which were discussed in great detail in that earlier section in volume one. And the idea here is that in order to really have a good meditation and to develop meditation properly, we have to be able to stop all of these causes for laxity and excitement. So we have to identify, be able to identify them, be able to understand what they are and how, how they occur. And to just in our daily life sort of live in the, you know, in this kind of way of moderation in order to, you know, for beginners in meditation, people who are starting out in meditation, it's very important that we really are vigilant and, and, and cultivate a sense of awareness about these different activities uh, and, and using all of these things, our food, our sense objects in general, sleep in, moder in the proper uh, moderation. If we are able to have a good understanding of all of this and from that good foundational understanding, go on to meditate, then that will be very successful. We'll accomplish the meditation practice. Oh, Um Chinwatan Chinwatan so just to repeat the line I read to early, the next line is, moreover, if you recognize those causes and try to stop them, this is obviously very helpful for interrupting laxity and excitement. Therefore, use vigilance to notice even subtle laxity and excitement. You should stop laxity and excitement in every possible way, not tolerating them in any form. So it's ex explicitly reminding us again that the laxity and excitement, they have the subtle forms, they also have the coarse forms. So not only, so we're not only trying to stop their coarse form, but beyond that, any kind of laxity and excitement, even the very most subtle, even the really one laxity or excitement which lasts for a very small duration, very short duration, uh, laxity or excitement which are very weak, even, even those forms of laxity and excitement must also be prevented or stopped. And so, Again, those are this called subtle laxity, subtle excitement, and we're able to recognize those by relying on these, this mental factor called vigilance, right? So vigilance, again, the antidote to laxity and excitement. And then, um, and then uh, the next line, Maitreya's separation of the middle from the extremes says that failing to do this is a fault of concentration called non-application. So out of those five faults, one of those faults is called non-application. So if we do not apply, uh, you know, some kind of antidote and stop laxity and excitement in every possible way, that's the fault called non-application. Well, Shoot 
대다 부르지 동업 둠이 제바 대다 기니스 띵인지 남다 주비 수미 시신도 제바 취니 띵인지 둔도 니와 남 루와 인디스 지수 잠발라 소비 띵인지 기 주주 嗯，然后电脑旁边录了七十多句话，我说，他这个是干什么？我说，那他懂得的。他，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我，我
the concentration remains on the object of meditation. It's not abiding with a stable sense of abiding, a stable stability. So those are those subtle forms that we have to be vigilant and looking out for. So again, even if it's just a very, very small period of time, then we have to I mean, even if they're arising for very small bursts or very short bursts of time, or they're very subtle, we still have to make an effort to eliminate them. This is uh, how it's been taught in the texts of all the great masters, Maitreya, Kamala Shila, Asanga, and so forth. Tetchebala Chingwada Tetchobala Tumbu Ma Nebody Maranzo Moreover, in terms of counteracting laxity and excitement, at the outset, you will most often be interrupted by excitement and distraction, so strive to eliminate them. If by working on this, you stop gross excitement and distraction, then you will get a little bit of stability. At this point, make an effort to guard against laxity. If you are on guard against laxity with a heightened awareness, then excitement, more subtle than before, may again interrupt your stability. 
So strive to eliminate this. If you do stop it, then stability will increase. Then laxity will again arise. So try to eliminate laxity. Now we have both lax laxity and excitement as obstacles. And when we're trying to, when we're putting forth the effort and engaging in the practices to stop them, to overcome them, then out of those two, it's excitement that tends to, that generally will occur first, right? So right when you go to meditate, when someone first goes to, goes to meditate, then what first occurs is that the mind goes outwards towards some other object. The mind gets distracted, the mind, um, it, so excitement arises within the mind. So that's the first obstacle to arise, getting distracted and mind wandering to some other object. And so here we first pull the mind back and place it firmly on the meditation object using the um, methods described above. And then eventually, or through that practice, then we do develop some stability. So as we develop more and more stability and that stability a single pointed abiding gets stronger and stronger, then we are at risk of having some laxity come. So then the risk, the risk there is that laxity, some um, the mind getting really, you know, habituated and stronger and stronger, uh, focusing and remaining on the object. Now the clarity of the object can start to um, diminish. So then we have to be on the lookout, as it says here, um, make an effort to guard against against laxity you can say sort of you have to be um it's like sort of uh suspicious is i guess in this context not the, exactly the right word to use but anyway that's fine to say it just to guard against laxity that, that you know that's that's what's going to come so be on the lookout uh, so, uh, so then it's it's important to be always thinking about both of these happening. So trying to eliminate excitement, but then also real, recognizing that, okay, that itself can lead to your uh, increase in laxity or lax an occurrence of laxity. So always be thinking about both counteracting excitement, but also counteracting laxity so that um, you're able to counteract both of them. Mm -hmm. Odoja, <laughs> Chewindim, a part of us and things in the Gomja, new gay, the Gozu race, or tis not that in the within a Guba Tramudi and Rua, Sem Mibala, Neba Jim Neba Yinja, and Neba de la Tamsing, maybe Naba de Leundu, that Tamsing Shake, Tapshi Chendu, and it Sem Mibala Neba Bashi Living race, that Neba Bashi Living to Tinian Casna Senondi Meba Chai Jang Wesa, and Neba Bashi to get shook church of Jingi. And my bachin never bashiki shook chetayundu. Tinia, chingwig tuned, liguarwa, chingwa de la hosna, chingwa tea, gudi tati, semipala neja de shook chetasna, 
non do tu e di succe da sono cinque anni in guri, scegli di scegliere, va in due anni, va da cinque anni di giulia in zona, e cinque anni di cahe che ti ne tappi di te di capire con su guri, va da tu che ne sono due su. So just rereading the... Right, so I'll reread the couple sentences. If by working on this, you stop gross excitement and distraction, then you will get a little bit of stability. At this point, make an effort to guard against laxity. If you are on guard against laxity with a heightened awareness, then excitement, more subtle than before, may again interrupt your stability. So strive to eliminate this. If you do stop it, then stability will increase. Then laxity will again arise, so try to eliminate laxity. So this is uh, referring to this process of going back and forth between trying to eliminate laxity and then, I'm sorry, first starting by eliminating excitement and then um, having that process itself of, of eliminating excitement lead to the arisal of laxity. So as you're about, to, you know, when you're really, focusing on bringing the mind to single pointedly abide on the object and eliminating the and eliminating the excitement and then there's a point where you're gonna you're getting closer and closer to having this stable abiding on the object and when you're getting as you get closer and approach really single pointedly abiding on the object then you have to start becoming more on the lookout you have to start being more um you know, more prepared for the arising of laxity. So then once you really have that, that process going and you, you sort of conquered or I mean, um, <clears throat> once you've successfully allowed your, you know, gotten your mind to abide on the object, then you may have the laxity arise and you apply antidotes to that. And once again, excitement more subtle than before another occurrence of excitement that was more subtle than at the outset will, will arise. So now this is also something that we have to then counteract at the more subtle version of excitement. And so then you're gonna try and really just focus intently and solely focusing the mind, have that be the, the one focus just staying on the object. And then again, laxity can arise at that point. So it's sort of going back and forth because of applying the antidotes to one, then the other will arise. And so you have to eliminate each in turn. Oh, do shit. That don't know. Trugulis, Sim Lindy, Nandu, Migbala, Tam Migbala, Tam Tala, Neza, Salichi, Migbala, Tala, Rua, Neza, Salichi. Neja nam chungjigi chingsun chimbo chede saji mar dunche tini remesu chene tingin zi kumi du tuba chais sindangi mar dembe saja mebi tongwatam di neja rewa michao stat bed jutum dem nirwa ta jerum jigida ta anazu kum tuma jagi shini tuma kum genda wasi imbaina ta chimwada guba nirwa ta ma chutab dirwa ta di chugali sim lende nandu mikbala sim neba tabjiche Neba di chungu di senang di yungu di yam mayong a chagiri e sa mitila sapsap chini rwa senang tu. Ta sen mikba la neba tang sanang tu ba ni rimu chini rwa. Ta sen mikba la sanang tu e ki samu di leo di yam mikba la mani wa di chagmi ya sen ing du e ki rwa sen. Mikba di senang shuk che chabwa yong ki yam kupa di ya shuk che ne sen mikba la mani wa chagwa di sa sen mikba la neba di le di Senang di gila samu tangu me. Senang yong du, mikba senang sewa nang du, yang senang chilu jubi du, mikba la manewa di yonge ruwa yenge ki ngu. Ota tini, mikba la neba tang sanang ki ngar du mba ni, ni zog toni da du suni. Do orama do ji ki, mikba la neba bashi ki toni sanang meba di, ani gom jahe ki ta ji, rewa jaksa di mare es, ta di di rewa jani di ping mare es. Dusan is semi pala neba tang, sanan niga yuba nizotun to hore, sta, semi pala neba, teeting to mikba de sebu yuba, or the tinini, 
ただ、In summary, withdraw your mind from scattering and excitement, inwardly fixing it upon the object of meditation, and seek stability. Each time stability occurs, take great precautions against laxity and bring forth a vivid intensity. You will achieve flawless concentration by alternating between these two. Do not expect to attain stability by means of mere limpidity which lacks the vividness that goes along with an intense way of apprehending the object. Now, once again, when we're first going out to accomplish serenity or meditating on serenity as beginners, we have to be cautious, be careful. And we have to go about um, applying antidotes to laxity and excitement in an alternating fashion. So we have to alternate between these two. And when, for instance, we start to have the strength of the abiding on the object come, then laxity is prone to arise. So we have to apply an antidote to the laxity. That's going to make us more prone again to getting excited, to getting distracted, the mind going out to other objects. So then we have to again apply an antidote to that. So we have to have this sense of accomplishing both of these features of meditation. Always have this in your mind as your goal, as your expectation. So don't, you know, have a hope or an expectation of accomplishing a one-sided meditation where you're just having a stable, stable stability or just having a vivid clarity. You want to have the whole time this idea, this aspect, this um yeah, the hope or the expectation that you're accomplishing a meditation that has both stable abiding as well as vivid clarity you know, with, the, with the vivid intensity. So it has to have this combination, a dual, um, a, a dual character, dual characteristics of your meditation, two characteristics of your meditation. So again, this uh, clarity, the clear appearance is like with from within the object itself, the object appearing vividly and clearly, and the abiding of the mind is like the mind being, um, uh, you know, going out to the object and being able to hold it stably and stay with it stably. So without wavering, without moving. So that's those uh, what these two features are that we're talking about. <clears throat> So then it's it's a it's a fault if you just think about accomplishing one of these two features that would be a fault. Oh, this one. Oh, to che that in that the that subject chick design chick zori that because same migbala tebe hodu chital chawa che se the subject ni nani chingu chungu chusu chingu chungu tusu chital chawa se the dan chingu the chewy tusu chital chawa because the subject ni this what that chingu chungu tusu. あの、チンゴ、あの、チンゴ、ま、
다 친구 중이 카페 책이 책이라 다 친구 매바 차수나 아니 고민 간데 자고래 수디 다 디스탑지 기자 디 리고 알바다 그와 미도자네 다 삽지 디니 마다 디 낭돈이 디 숭두스 인다 디 강들라와 다 심미발라 다 심미발라 테비 호두스 심디 미발라 두 샤윤드 다 당마티니 샤브 호두 심띵 루티니 큐 다 Tim Mikbala ne majuba so in the Sawa Menoma so chingunidi Yonegi Chuna Dinis in the Gomisho as Langashi do. Tayam Ta Sim Mikbala did ne any chingwada goba mena, ya, dinidin machia, Sinian, chingmal, gom daji, when Tamasna ching, chingwala din capte segu to so capte segu. Ya capte semugu to so ya capte sea in the Nagayua, the D. Kajin Shundi, the D. Homadi. 다양 친구들 차위 투수 지들 차와 세대와다 뒤 아니 친구 바 매바 차위 가나 야 무투니 친구라 요라 갑대 체나 야 내가 요와디 오다 디나라 세가 투모와리 센자 디니 마티시 다 고주민스 오디라다 So we just completed with that the section where where we were and that again like the kind of main heading up above was what to do after putting your mind on the object of meditation or focusing your mind on the object of meditation. And within that, we had how to identify, identifying laxity and excitement. And, um, uh, you know, after even identifying them, but not applying the antidote. Uh, so those were the sections that we just covered. And now we have the next section where it says, you now page 67, Number two, what to do when laxity and excitement are absent. So here again, we have two different scenarios when we have laxity, this obstacle that makes the mind not have clarity of the able to abide on the object. Uh, these, either of these are present, then we have a, a path. We, we have the instructions, do this, do that, think about this, think about that. That's all explained as one path in that situation. Now we come to the point of, okay, so what about when laxity and excitement are absent, when they're not there? Then we have another path that's being taught, that's being explained. So we have to do something different. Now we're going to hear do this and this and this, and don't do that, don't, don't do that other thing. So it's like if there's some, you know, uh, um, enemy or problem and we have to face it and apply you know we have to face it and um uh, we have to do something to overcome that uh but if there isn't then we don't have to do anything to overcome it when there isn't any problem before us oh oh <coughs> 참모야 제대 공배스 야나 야나 친와 당형스 야나 고바 규와 미냠 나 미냠 밤에 바 셈냠 바니도 주바 주와 디세 두체 밤 쏘나 띵인징이 쭈인베 티니보 땅님 고바 차우스 다딘다 디 갈숭월스나 다 니방가 이니 뽕와 두지 제 세게 나니 다 두지 제바 셈 땅님수 샤바스 니바 다 니방가 요바 니방가 다딘다 지단 디 호라 기부 퉁으리 이네 다 啊，卡斯尼亚马吉多萨勒，那那的啊，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩斯，丁恩
Ani ni bo an tilati ni cuma macam sim tangan suku macam tu. Sudah tak sim hulu jenis sim nan masin, bet sim hulu tak cingu mewah di sana. Ani sim mikpa korang nanti ni bet hulu jenis bah. Ani bet nan masin di sana tak bet an suku bet kasna kyun kyun yang dah mayun gitu gitu cara kerja di macam macam ni. Sim hulu jenis tak bet mikpa korang nanti ni bet cik ko mutu ni tak cuek gitu tapi di cewa res. Pada ti, mato jadi, ya, cingguh ke ni ambil teh, kita ni berjuang cikak cina, kita ni kek cakap je, tinggal je tuju je, so dah, waktu itu semua tu, so. So we have section two, what to do when laxity and excitement are absent. By continuing to meditate after eliminating even subtle laxity and excitement, as explained above. Your mind will enter a state of equipoise that is free from the imbalances of either laxity or excitement. At this point, it is a fault of concentration to apply or exert yourself. So cultivating equanimity as a remedy, so cultivate equanimity as a remedy for this. So we again have these five faults of serenity and eight antidotes. This is the last of the eight antidotes now, equanimity. So that's the last of the eight and the five faults and the other antidotes were previously explained. And for having a flawless concentration, for having a perfect concentration, then when we get to a stage, if there's no laxity and excitement occurring, so we don't need to apply any antidote for them. Again, when laxity is present, the main antidote, the primary thing, is to raise the energy of the mind, to uplift the mind. When excitement is present, then we have to subdue the mind, withdraw it inwards. We have to <clears throat> push the energy of the mind downward. So when those two are absent, then it becomes a fall if we make effort to do any of these things, if we make effort to, um, to somehow adjust or moderate the energy of the mind or the, <clears throat> the state of the mind. So we don't want to, so we have to stop making effort. We have this, uh, when those two are absent, we don't have to counteract them. There's nothing to counteract. So what we do is just allow the mind to abide in a very relaxed fashion, really relax the mind and let it simply focus right on the meditation object itself. So before when we're looking out for and stopping and remove and counteracting laxity and excitement, then we the, uh, had to use this vigilance, this meta awareness checking to see whether or not laxity or excitement are on the verge of arising, whether or not they have arisen. So here, you don't have to do any of that. So not checking, not you know looking here and there, just solely letting the mind stay right with the meditation object itself. <laughs> Kangitse Chingwa Tang Gweba Meba Jutes Mikba Tela Sim Nildu Duba Tuma Tise Ani Tsova Lulas Tang Nintun Cha Shings Tietse Chisi Dudu Gwepa Duba Cha Wu Shesu Tata Dikar Sung Wars Na Tawi Tagi Kondu Sunga Na Shing Duba Ta Sim Ani Mikba La Gwom Jawi Ndu Yutin Chingwa Tang Gweba Di Meba Jutes Mikba La Pe Sim Hulu Chini Ta Pe Chingwa Ka Pe Chingwa Meba Chini Duba Ani sem mikpa la pet neba pasik dang senang pasik ta tinde tangba mai ba che senang yang yoba senang ki ngar yoba neba chu mai ba ne da ne be ngar yoba sem mikpa la ne be ngar dang sem mik mikpa na mikpa ti ni sa wa na ngar dang ni zo yu bi ani sem wa ta tinde ki pe hulu shin yu bi ne ka ti na ani ani ka sna chingwa ani ne chingwa ti ni sem sana me ba ti ni bo dang Thank you.
我的提提帕都是的呀,他呀,嗯,可别呀,请我去呀,接着去呀,当,可别接着去呀,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那,那
Tizzy Chingum Question. How can it be that applying yourself or making an effort turns into a problem? Reply. Through meditation, turning your attention inward when your mind is excited and stimulating your mind when it is lax. You gain confidence that laxity and excitement will not occur during each suitable meditation session. session. At this point, you are still extremely wary of laxity and excitement, just as at the outset. Sustaining this as a prop is the problem. Your mind will become distracted. So at that time, you must know to relax, as stated in Kamala Shila's second and third stages of meditation. If you exert yourself when your mind has entered a state of equipoise, then your mind will be distracted. This entails relaxing the effort, but not sacrificing the intensity of the way you apprehend your object. Again, what we're talking about here is a state that's free of laxity and excitement, where laxity and excitement are not absent. So there's the question of why would applying effort become a problem for concentration? Why would it become a fault in concentration? Well, what happens is when we have these two, laxity and excitement, then for laxity, the antidote is to invigorate the mind to raise up the energy, stimulate the mind, it says here, stimulate or invigorate the mind, have some kind of joyful, energetic uh, sense, sense, sense in your mind, sensation in your mind. Uh, when we have excitement, again, it's to reduce that, that, uh, that energy and to bring about a sense of, um, oh, sorry, um, 
soberness to your mind, bring about some kind of sobering thoughts to the mind and to reduce that energy. And so you go about doing those things with laxity, laxity and excitement. But what happens is at some point then, so here, um, so you gain confidence that laxity and excitement will not occur. So you've become familiar enough with the, keeping that balance that you're now have this confidence that laxity and excitement will not occur. Confidence here means that you know that you have the ability, right? You know that you've gained the ability to remain on the object without laxity or excitement arising. Um, but then it becomes a fault if you then still have some wariness, if you still have some lingering suspicion or this kind of you know preemptive thinking about, oh, our laxity and excitement arising, right? This again is the work of vigilance, of meta awareness. So here you don't want to have ex excessive, um, this uh, excessive checking up on your mind. Uh, is excitement arising, is laxity arising. So that becomes an obstacle because as Kamala Shila says, your mind will become distracted. So the, uh, the application of vigilance itself will make the mind distracted. And in, in that case, when, you've, uh, when you're in this stage or in this state. So that becomes, so that in that case, uh, vigilance becomes an obstacle to concentration. Oduce, Ani ただ、ロアタルスディベジュンディロアベジュチェディルホレスタテンデワディナタタンムゴバディスタテンデビタンムスムタンムゴバジョラティンズキュマニワスナアニスムジュチェタンムスゴバディアニベアニカドゥティズガンガレ
Therefore, this cultivation of equanimity is not to be done every time laxity and excitement are absent, but once you have reduced the force of laxity and excitement. For when you have not done so, there is no equanimity. Now, uh, and just to re revisit the last, the very last thing that I had said before, just as translating, um, that the, I said that vigilance itself becomes an obstacle to concentration. It's not, it wasn't vigilance that Geshe-la said, it was the activity of vigilance checking up um, on the mind. So I just wanted to make that clear. I'm not sure if, anyway. Um, if, uh, so now we have this talking again about this kind of attitude when you're checking up to see if laxity is there, checking up to see if excitement is there. You have this um, alertness and preparedness, watching, waiting and watching for those to arise and, and wanting to deal with them, the intention of wanting to deal with them when they arise. So here it's saying you have to relax, release that, release that kind of attitude of preparedness, release that kind of... Um, I mean, the word coming to mind is suspicion, but that's not the really accurate, the best word in this case. Uh, sometimes it can be translated that way, but it's like this kind of, I think preparedness is good enough to say. So now what does it mean to relax the mind? What does it mean to, to re release uh, this kind of, um, you know, attention, attentiveness? Well, it's not talking about relaxing the, apprehension of the object. You're not relaxing your apprehension on the object. What you're relaxing is the uh, effort. It's relaxing the exertion or the effort to apply an antidote. That's what has to be relaxed here, what has to be released here. And now this, this verse we just went through says not to be done every time laxity and excitement are absent. So once you've actually reduced the force of laxity and excitement, then you have the sense of, you have the awareness that that's happened and it gives you a sense of self-confidence, gives you a sense of, you know, this self, you know, self-awareness, self-confidence, the self-esteem. Oh, my mind is free of laxity and excitement. My mind is able to abide on the object with the two qualities of um, the clarity and, and the abiding together. And there's no obstacle present. In that case, then you know that you have subdued, you know, um, reduced the force and subdued the force of laxity and excitement, then equanimity will uh, be relevant to you. Then that's when you apply equanimity. Because otherwise, uh, you know, ex excitement and lax laxity are still kind of coming in and out, coming in and out, then there's no, there's no question really of applying equanimity because you still have to control your laxity and excitement. So after you've gotten that confidence that's able to know, yes, I can control these two, they're in check, they're subdued, then you can work on applying this equanimity uh, so that's when you're no longer under the influence of laxity and excitement, do you need to apply equanimity? Oh, yeah, that thing that loves it, that thing is some shaggies, that so you can be any that you actually you're not a good to do to a non announce. So we're going to leave the course of uh, the class here for today, pause it here, and if there are any questions, then we can begin with. We can begin a question and answer session. I have a question. Oh, should I put my video on in a second? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, hi. So for many years, I've been trying to meditate. And for many years, I've struggled with laxity and excitement in my meditation. And listening to this the last several weeks, Tonight, something occurred to me, and I'm wondering if I'm on the right track. And um, sort of like, you know, when you're in your house and you've got a lot of people talking, you can't hear the water faucet that's dripping. But when everybody's gone home and the house is very quiet, then you hear the drip really loudly. And I'm wondering if it's like 
the reason why laxity and excitement are so strong during a meditation is because it's so strong throughout all our daily life. And if that's the case, um, I'm wondering if there's some practical guidance that Geshe-la could offer on how to be more uh, vigilant about laxity and excitement even throughout our day. And that might prepare us better for our meditation sessions, if that's it's true. I don't know if I've come, added two and two and come up with five or if that's actually valid. Thank you. Again, Ajala, didn't you sing it? Any the low moon boring do she need a gom gayet? Have she done it? Yes. They that got to in the young, the top dump on the end and the product that do and the jingle than governing again. Chamboy. me mambo you do get your mambo shape a couple of chewy tiba the cookie windows and a young meet someone now that drops honey young chewy tiba oh that gate you know daddy took it is chewy tiba get trauma the children the rock took it is guys and a meet someone drops at it baby la baby some not down there any not so jingle don't go by me gong gabby gabsu Shukchambo young with guns and din non shin ribes, Jingwa don't go but gong gabbe gabsu and also somebody's lurch, hane, any the kin, jingwa, jingwa kin, gobe, gobe kin, the sapo tongue to grass, a chase on guns and din non shin that chew it tiba perna, chew it tiba di, me mumbo, get a shape a couple of young, tiba gad digidus. Gonzo drops on a young tiba gaggy to his and a young tumble, gogi maris. She's on Gonzo gom my gabby to his Nongi chick. Yarma drobe cabla, lega jebe cabla. Jingwat and go but Kadu in a young gay diggy ribis. Kadu in a young yoribis can laugh. Any jingwat and go but then he Kadu in a young Nima Ning Hong. So the Gonzo Samba Noma. Gay 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 or didn't it so yena? Any Oh, <laughs> Non <laughs> Chiwa Chiki Carry some Mikbala Nejan, never Temu Megan, 
Senan yöcan, senan timu mekes. O tindiye ki, sim ki dini canba, nyonga tüyma dünge tünir va. O tindiye ki ki dini simla şubi gönce ki tonu çoğdu. Pagi di çi gen ama doji sim ki tonu da ki kalavar da di mara va da çi gen ki uca mangbo yudu, uca cuncu di koma tu va çağır va. Uca dini nyonyo yudu gana dini uca cuncu ki na kotu ve pena da ki çava ti çi gen ki ungir va. Tinda di çınva çamo da ngar raba, gülba çamo da raba seydi sim ki pa ane nyam nyon satan ki tonu yudu va. Ane sim mikva di la kon dini ne dedi lan ne komdi da nyamun tuma tu go ongida tinje gita chunga da go bi kyo yon da chik tinje res ba on ti chik che ta ni ba dela chunga da go ba ding an su sim ting to khatu ina yon yon ro ba sin ti mares chunga le bi ondi go bi ki tinje ka sna ne su di yon yon ro ba go ba di yon ondi chunga da chunga da go ba ni pa su ti ni ro ro ma ban to ji ki sim pena mi ba dela ani ka sna di ro ata ne badi me batun ti ne kaptuna go ba chumari ta sim mi badla ne na ya sena me badla chiwa le badi ta sim mi badla mane watan sim mi badla sena me badni gadi ta nyam do yo ne ta sim go mi jabe ne ka tis na ta tinde ji yongur ba ma do junde ge le gadla ngara zo le ga khande ji shena bena ngara zo khala ji sawa ina khala ti ge ani mi badu zo ani sim mi badla खाला दी तूने शर्त दे तं अने खाला और ताती ठीक अने छोवा दा तू न्योए ला तं ताती ठीक दो दा थोए ला सोबा सो 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 के ताची जुदो छे के ठीक सेम ला कंगे चे के के मारो वा कोरंग कोरंग के ताची शेबा शेष जुन रोज रोज वा ता ता छोवा दा गोबा दी गोम जाये गोचु गुंड रोज तं अना जो सेम मिपा ने ना यहाँ तीने से मिपादी सेवु में वो क्यों नहीं वो तो ठी तांग रहा जो गोम मज़ा बुखारने तीने जी छिरो लाते नहीं पे ये वाला शुक्र चिंबु चाहिए कि वहाँ पे ना रहा जो आ खाला रहता आ खाले रे सु संबु पे ना अन्य चार संबु था सुधर चुर रिचांग आते नहीं पे ना रहा जो सेम ड्रोटाने दोजा अन्य कासना दिलवाता ओंबु को मातूं बास ऐ ताकि चिल्ले सो आ ट्विंसम लग रहा अन्य ताना जिन अन्य इंगाना जो को माचा उखानी पे ने सेक चुप मिरिक बास वो ट्विंसो के जो शेम जो वो तो ट्विंसो के केन जिन ता को मिचा जिन ता चिल्ले को आरे मत हो जिगे अन्य इंगाना जो को माचे बिन्ने का तेरा चिंगा की तो दुनिया देख रहा है ना लेकर दी ला अन्य जेह चीज़ की सिम चिरो तो इंग्वा की तब ना ची इंग्वा शुक्ची मुझे उन्हें लेकर थी ला अन्य मतलब अच्छा गोर वार वा इन दिन जने ता ठीक तुम तो जो भी खावा लेके तुम ना तंग आराम से दुर्जात तंग शेदान ना तुझे की वांग तो ड्रोट्स हैं ना तो � ता ठी अरे जो काय के थप्पीच लाते ने जुन्दे ने कुम्जी ते माई ना ता लुई दस्ते में ले सुरुंगे की ने कब सोए की तीने कोम दिलाते ने तेज में कास ना ची ले ला रुटोए की थप्पी योरे ऐसा में तीने मचेंगे दूस गाना में सब नंबर जीरो बा और तीने डाउ जी और ती नहीं ता चिंगवा तो गोबा नी अने कोम जवा� तुम भी कुछ दिला सेम दिन माने वाता ने सेना में वाली निगाह आई हुआ रहा थी ने अगर माने वाली युद्ध कोबा चुमारे और सेना में वाली चुमारे तो अन्य कार्य चुमा चुमारे यहाँ कपड़े यहाँ सेम मिपाल ने वाली कांशिला सेना में के यहाँ सेना दी यो वाली कांशिला यहाँ चुक्स चुक्स चुला में यंग जोंगे कोबा यों तब नमकीन गाना जो निशा छोटी के छवाल ला अने गोम की नेपाली छोटी थी ना गाना जो लू लू लाती ने बन्ना ची लू छबन निशा सेजरुआ ना लू छबन निवार छपा सेजरुआ सेम निवार दिन छबन निवार छपा सो जो तब लू दा सेम दी यों है दी तब चिरो ला ये वाला जो दी शुक्चे मु यों है की क्या अने अने तो जैसे ताती मुस्सम के शुक्चे ठावे तीने क्यों दे मायों के थप्पे दी अने गाना जो जुन्दे ने ता तुमसे मचवाई ना अने किंसोला तीने कोम जाये ताऊ 
Ani Kundan so I'm very happy to hear your question and also very happy to hear your practice, you explain, uh, talk about how you've been working at meditation for many years. That's great. And so you have put forth this example here, this example, and that's sort of, if we if we can look at your question in two different segments, then we have the first part is, is that a fair example to be uh, using with the, the water drops, uh, dripping water, I'm sorry, dripping, a dripping faucet, or, and then the second question we could say uh, would be our laxity and excitement sort of present all the time throughout the day and and what to do in day-to-day -day life uh, to sort of uh, counteract that so for the first question what um, we can look at it and say yes that's right and we have this kind of experience where there's a big room full of people and we can't hear a quiet sound coming from the corner, but after everyone leaves, then we can hear the, the quiet sound like a, a, a water drop. But it's not, the example doesn't fall, doesn't fit exactly with what we're talking about with laxity and excitement, because with um, the example, it's hearing the sound or not being able to hear the sound are dependent on external conditions. They're dependent on the external factors changing uh, people first being present, then people leaving, you know, during the day, your senses are maybe more um, uh, kind of le less sensitive. And then, at, you know, at night or when, you know, at different times of day, your senses may be more sensitive. Uh, that's dependent on external conditions. Whereas with talking about laxity and excitement, this is all talking about within the mind itself. Right here we're talking about within the, this is all conditions within the mind itself, whether laxity is arising or not, excitement is arising or not. So in that sense, uh, it would be a little bit different from the example. And so then what it is then is something that, that you have to establish or sort of figure out through your, um, like, through accumulating your own experience, uh, meaning figure out, you know, what, what it is to have laxity, what it is to have excitement, what these are, what these are like, that's um, something that you accumulate experience about. So now the second question we can, again, again, I said a bit about, so the second question we would say, so first of all, laxity and excitement. Okay, so, okay, I'll just go in order. What's written here? So laxity and excitement uh, generally don't bo both occur together, but during meditation, it's possible that they can occur together. That you can have both, you know, the excite the mind going off to another object but also not having clarity right but <clears throat> but so here what we're so here when we're talking about 
them during the during during the day though those aren't really laxity and excitement as we're talking about here in the context of meditation so here in the constant in the laxity and excitement are referring to things which occur when we sit down to meditate that's really what we're referring to what we're talking about here we're looking at specific mental factors that occur when you go and try to put your mind single pointedly on an object then laxity and excitement arise so what happens during the day before that? What's going on is that there's all these other afflictions and primarily attachment, aversion, and ignorance, right? So we still have, like it was just uh, stated in the section that we went over last week, uh, last, last class and today at the beginning with these four different kinds of activities that can give rise to laxity and excitement in our meditation. So those four things, so following after objects of attachment, not eating the appropriate amount of food, not sleeping the appropriate amount of time, doing, um, what was that phrase? Um, unskillful, not unskillful, there was another phrase, but um, you know, things out of delusion, basically acting in the ways that are influenced by delusion, to phrase it a little differently. So those all are going to contribute to the laxity and excitement in our meditation. And then, you know, working to stop all of those, right? Eating the right amount of food, sleeping the right amount, and then, uh, and then primarily counteracting the attachment, aversion, ignorance that arise in your mind throughout your daily life is the main thing that's going to help. Um, it's going to help you stay focused and clear in your day-to-day -day life as you're doing other activities, no matter, no matter what you're doing, working or whatever it is, it's also going to help your meditation become, um, you know, you'd be free of laxity and excitement and have better meditation. So <clears throat> it's similar, we could say. So laxity and excitement, laxity and excitement are, are really things that happen in meditation, but there are similar faults or similar obstacles that occur when we're not in meditation. Of course, the mind still gets distracted. The mind goes out to other objects, but we would just call this attachment, right? We would just, we would just um, say that's attachment or anger or one of, one of the other afflictions. <clears throat> so um, by practicing meditation, it actually, right? So we directly counteract the laxity and excitement during meditation. It also makes the mind just more flexible and agile uh, in all purposes. So even during daily life, it will help the mind to become more, I guess, well, we can say workable, more um, pliancy is the kind of, it, it may, pliant is a fine way to say, it, pliant or workable or serviceable. So, <clears throat> So again, we're talking about meditation. We can have many different things occur in meditation. There can be instances where we have both laxity and excitement present together. We can have only one, right? If we have only laxity, then the mind is still somehow abiding within the object, you know, abiding on the meditation object, but is no clarity. If we have only excitement, then the mind is clear. The, the things are clear but the mind is going outward to another object. So we can have all those different kinds of things occurring in meditation. And one of the other uh, things that we practice in day-to-day -day life is the four establishments of mindfulness, right? So the four establishments of mindfulness, for instance, on the body, feelings, mind, and phenomena, those also help to keep the mind focused um, on what we're doing and on uh, keep, help keep the mind focused and so help us to apply the antidotes or that is a practice of applying the antidotes to attachment aversion and ignorance so that's primarily that's in summary those are primarily what's happening in day-to-day -day life outside of meditation is the mind is going under the influence of attachment aversion and ignorance <clears throat> And, and thank you, Love Sangdanya, for translating. Thank you. I have a question about um, something that you said earlier this evening. You were talking about how not applying the antidote not only does it not help your meditation, but it can actually cause harm? 
could you please um, ask Geshla what he meant by that? Uh, today, uh, Tamudzutanamisha,也就是说,要我投资,他们都在听说,变成清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土地,清华的土
and so this was explained in the context of talking about people who are possibly ourselves could get the idea well look i i'm dealing with the main obstacle coarse laxity and coarse excitement and that's enough the subtle laxity and subtle excitement they just last a moment they're not a big deal i'll just let them be so it's for that uh, in that case, that, that's what um, why Tsongkhapa has raised this point, and that's going up back to page 67 in, this, in the second paragraph from the top, where he says, some may gradually give up, thinking slight excitement, yeah, slight excitement and distraction persist, even though I cut them off at the outset, so I shall not cut them off. So again, the wording here is maybe a little awkward, but just it's saying, saying like, look, there's just a tiny bit of laxity excitement, really no problem, right? So I'm not really going to bother um, eliminating them. Or if laxity and excitement are not strong and do not persist for long periods, they may think, since they are weak and of brief duration, I do not accumulate karmic obstruction, so I do not need to cut them off. Those who think this way and fail to apply themselves to the elimination of these hindrances do not know the right way to achieve concentration, yet they pretend they do. They deceive those who aspire to concentration, for their approach places them outside the tradition of methods for attaining concentration laid down by teachers such as the Venerable Maitreya. So what's talking? What it's talking about here is this very, um, again. So counteracting laxity, counteracting excitement. You counteract. You know, you have this gross laxity where there's no clarity of the object. You raise the energy of the mind. You have some clarity of the object, and you go, "That's good enough." You have some gross, some coarse excitement, your mind's totally distracted, then you bring down the withdraw the mind, you bring it inwards, you have some stability there, you say, good, okay, I've dealt with the laxity, I've dealt with the excitement, and then you, but then you, there's still subtle laxity or subtle excitement that continues to arise. So this can just be momentary. It's like the example we could use is sometimes, you know, you can have the experience of sort of dozing off for just a moment. You just kind of sort of doze off, you wake up again, you doze off, you wake up again. Well, this is the danger here is that if you allow that to happen without addressing it, then you might just fall asleep you might just continue to sleep so likewise if you allow these subtle bursts or these subtle moments of laxity or excitement to persist then they'll just grow stronger you'll never be able to actualize the full potential of this faculty of concentration of this flawless concentration you'll never achieve it so that's what Jerry Boucher is really pointing out. Not only that, but it's like you're deceiving yourself. You're saying, oh, I have good meditation. I'm doing just fine when really you have faults in your meditation flaws. Um, so it's like you're, you're deceiving yourself. And it's also, as, it, as, as uh, the text says, it's completely going out of the, um, <clears throat> the tradition of methods for attaining concentration written by the great masters, so it says as Maitreya and so forth. So it's not in line with the instruction of the masters uh, and it's also going to lead to a fault flaw in your concentration oh yeah Todd. could i also ask another a clarification um so you talked about not needing to apply vigilance so strongly once you have confidence that you've eliminated laxity and excitement in your meditation. Um, is, but it sounds to me like you do need to maintain at least some vigilance. And so I'm wondering, is it that as your confidence grows, you can relax, your vigilance to that degree so it's kind of a, a incremental process oh again not oh jinga you know jinga again maybe couple of jinga jinga um jinga maybe dang top 
top tane then he she shingi chara jiva she shingi chara jiva the she or to shake on us she done in a young she shin pet bongo maras she shin bongo maras she's on she shingi she shin lut on what Katsa lut on gore kandas lut on gore she shin shook chambo go maris in a young she shin that don't go to biz what you read, take it in the dinner list or an edgy chitter chitter deba tishin to chow, sindiles or tin to zany shishin syndicas not the chimada guba, you would do, you women to sim na susu, sim thing to chimada guba, the you would do, you women to tie it petu, so what of Jirwa, charaching Jirwa, copang gugumar, colon, colla, so what you are, could not mention shire, taco, what that. Chimata Guba may be deng to be neck up dinner, and it Chimata Gubati, Yumudu, Yumudu, Hazupena, Diruata, Combat in Nanata, Pena Razuta, Chick, me, Kalar and Narchenta, Chick, Timke, Miss Segu, and the Timke Midina, never how quotes of each other, Taco Midina do, Mudusova get tied in it, Legala Tisho to Herwa, Ta, Tina Chinita. Maranzo Mig and the Mida Pena Sosugita, Miss Seguena, Midi Yuda Mid. Say the Toba you will negate the Nerva. To a Toba you in a mena Toba you will negate the Midzeva. That Toba never meet it in a me, some in a dinner, Ding Tobiungu, that did Cassan and Maranzo T. Yuda mena tiedi, you woman, the Chivo Marwa, Tino Sinchinis, Copango Maraco, Tino Sinchinis, same with Ding do, Chiwada Guba, maybe Ding Tobiundu, that Chiwada Guba, you do, you do some make a charaching. And she shin tego mare is war mado. She shin pango is tip pango and tego mpa bed cutter than you call a dia mewa sue maris, coran shingi, till a soachi yo maris, roa chara di yudu yumi to taja chedra, charachi yo mare, sidu, that she shingi chawala, soachi yo mare, so mandoji, she shin de ya mewa sue tapshi chela, so a cut trego at indicio, or coran shingi mewa chawata, roa. Chimada Goba Midu, that Chimada Goba never think to be undo, and a young do young some toba mewacha, toba mena, and that Chimada Yuba Yuba Yung to Yum to tie local and singing mewacha, or pay the target in Nashi, what in the Shina, and that Chimagi, that Chima, she sing it in Charamachi, Sarachina, and it curry, so what the Tenda di Sung to Matoji, young pet shishing lagging, Charaching, curry, meba sober, say, and Chawajala and Shuba Maris, or Koran sing meba chajare. Same thing to Chinguini Meva Chayundi, to what in it was it should. Once again, Shishin is this mental factor, this mental process. I'm sorry, um, vigilance or uh, mental awareness is this uh, mental process, which is watching to see if, I'm sorry, if laxity and excitement, laxity or excitement, are arising or whether they're not arising. So it's not something that we have to eliminate, right? We don't have to actually like make effort to eliminate it. But what happens is naturally, it's sort of, uh, we can sort of ignore it. We don't have to go through this intentional effortful process of checking to see if attachment, sorry, it's like checking to see if excitement or laxity have arisen or are arising because we have the confidence that they're in check, that they're not arising, that, that, uh, they've been subdued right that's this this in this uh, state of meditation and this uh, at that stage of one's meditation practice so uh, there's an example we can say for instance if you're wondering if someone's entered your house if someone has someone come in your house has someone come inside your house and it, you know at first you would be looking around for them are they here or not did they come in or not you look around you look around you're checking checking then you check every room and you see they're not there you have the confidence you know for sure they're not there you have no more doubt about it so there's no question of whether you're going to keep looking for them right so it's the same uh, kind of thing where you don't need to look anymore so the mind naturally actually it's just naturally that um effortful checking up on the mind subsides so what again what you are um you know, letting go of, or, you know, what, you, what you're releasing or letting go of is the effort to check up on your mind. Um, the laxity, sorry, the 
vigilance doesn't have to be like abandoned, but it just naturally uh, kind of subsides or go, you know, I guess you could say fall, falls into the background or, or what have you. That's very clear. Thank you. So let's stop here. Time is up. Gandhian <laughs> Kewa Nyamba Meba Yang Kony Kondo Pewa Sho Tazi Nigri Sebi Minji Ko Samu Tendre Tadan Travi Pajo Ludu Yabse Gongba Da Chiji Kondo Chuba Juru Kewa Di Kewa Gun Sonami Sozo Jin Sonama Yishi Leju Tamba Guni Toba Sho Thank you Good night Thank you. 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 Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good